Hey Jonathan here and today you're going to be learning your first parkour vault and my goal is by the end of this video you can go out and learn this in just five minutes. So hopefully uh, you can do this and then tag us on Instagram wherever you get that. Now at the end of this video I'm going to share with you a free course that you can pick up but let's go ahead and jump into this vault. Now today you're going to be learning the safety vault and the safety vault is one of the first vaults that we want to learn in parkour. Now you might be watching this right now and be thinking this is crazy, I can't learn parkour. Parkour is too extreme. I've gotten a ton of emails from, uh, from different people saying, hey, I'm too old, you know, I really think it's cool, but I'm too old, or my body can't do parkour. I'm here to tell you that's just not the case. And in fact, if you aren't training some of these basic, uh, basic movements in parkour, then you are leaving out a huge, huge portion of your training if you want to be an athlete, if you want to build efficient, functional muscle, Parkour and the basics is one of the best ways to develop that either if you're trying to run obstacle courses or maybe you just want to have a nice looking functional body that you can actually go and do things like train different dis disciplines or play in different sports. Parkour is a great way to do that and you can do it in a safe, uh, smart way that we're going to go over today. So here's what the safety vault will look like in fast motion. Very simple vault. And it's a very versatile vault, as we'll show here in a little bit. But the first thing is, before we even start training this vault on an obstacle, we need to make sure that we have the basic fundamental coordination down and the basic mobility and strength down. So an easy way to do that is being able, one, to have your third world squat or at least down to where you can go to about 90 degrees. This is going to help a lot because we need this extra flexibility and mobility here. Also, the strength to be able to do QM. And remember, we've done these in previous videos, the, and this is the reason why we train this, these type of movements, is because it's all going to transfer into these more advanced vaults and stuff. So being able to do this, and a big one is being able to transfer from this QM position into the crab. So we're here, being able to do this type of movement right here, because as you'll see in just a second, that's exactly what we're going to be doing with this vault. So let's jump into this. The first thing that we're going to do, so once you have that down, now if you aren't strong enough to do those basic moves, then what I recommend is clicking the link in the description and that will take you to our first exercise, our first workout that you can try out to build that strength and that mobility. So let's go to this vault. So I'm assuming you have that down, now we're going to go to this. The first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to start with uh, three points of contact at all times as we're first doing this. Just so we're doing, we have good balance, we have good structure and we're safe with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to place both hands on the obstacle with the fingers facing away from you. And so what we're going to do is if you want to, if you vault to your right side, you're going to place your hands to the left. If you vault to the left side, you're going to place your hands to the right. And so we're going to, so for this I'm going to be demoing as I'm vaulting to the right side. So my hands are both going to be planted on the left side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plant my foot on top of the obstacle. So the outside foot, my right foot, is going to be planted just enough in between so I can fit my body between here. So remember, because the vault's going to be going like this. So we're going to plant this foot. Now we don't want to go too far out because we won't have enough balance or stability. And if we go too close in, we're not going to have enough room or it's, it's going to be a lot harder to have the flexibility to come through. So what we're going to do is plant our foot in a nice position. Ideally, you want to put the ball of your foot because that way we can have really good balance here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to drive with our hips. We're going to lean our chest forward. So our hands are going to be planted. Lean the chest forward. Stacking our joints. Our arms are going to be straight so that we can support our body. And what we're going to do is just slowly lift the back leg up so that now we can get a feel for it. We get a feel for this balance. Our chest is leaned slightly forward so our balance is good. And then we're going to thread this back leg through. So this back leg is going to come up and drive through. And as we drive through, we're going to remove the inside arm. So we're here, we're going to drive through and step and then come down. Do it a little bit faster. We're planning, ball the foot, good structure here. This movement, our body and center is going to be moving to together because all of our weight is going to be right here. Remember that. All of the control is going to be right here. So we're vaulting over, stepping, and then we're good. After we've done that, after we do both hands, this is where we can kind of speed it up a little bit. So 
Now, instead of standing right next to it and slowly moving over, we're going to walk into it. We're still going to plant both hands, but we're going to walk into it, remove the hand, and keep stepping. And remember, as we get through this vault, make sure your hips are always pretty square. Because I see a big problem, people will do the vault and they'll turn. And if you turn around like that, if you're turning, you're not going to be able to run out smooth. You're going to be off balance. So remember, you always want to have your hips square. You want to be going in a straight line. So you're here, we're going straight, very efficient. So once you have this down with two hands, then we just, we're going to remove one hand completely. This is so we can go really fast. Now this is a little more advanced, but we're going to remove that hand completely so that we can just jump into it and go really fast. And that's the safety ball. It's really that simple. And I want you to go out and try this. Do those steps. Remember, start on the ground first. If you haven't done the, the basic exercises that, we, that I talked about before, I encourage you to do those first because it's going to help tremendously before going to these vaults. And you can find links to those workouts in the description so you can start, go through, start to go through that training. All right, now I want to show you some extra things that you can do with this safety vault and really how versatile this vault is and why it's one of the most important vaults to learn. If we don't have that third world squat, you're not going to be able to get in this position very well because you're not going to have the flexibility here. You're not going to be able to support yourself because you don't have that flexibility. And that's why it's very crucial that we have that down. And like I talked about in the four with the crab between the crab and QM, this movement right here, notice what we're doing. We're planning opposites, the opposites, so your left and your right leg. And we are balancing in between this position. So that's why it's really important that we learn those movements on the ground because they're going to transfer directly into these vaults. And that's why it becomes really easy once we have that coordination and strength with our core because we've already learned it, pretty much the move, and now we're just transferring it to an obstacle. After we learn this vault, the safety, this is where we're going to be able to go into the speed vault. So the speed vault is where we're not going to use any feet and we're going to go over. But you can see it's basically the same motion except we're, we're making it a little more advanced. That's one way that we're going to use this vault to go into more advanced vaults. The second one is, uh, and we'll go over to this, you want to do it on the fence? Do it. Alright, so the second one is if you're climbing up on an obstacle or a fence like this, this is one of the safest and most secure ways that you can overcome an obstacle and have a lot of control. So as you vault, remember uh, with, the, with the safety, we, we had both hands planted. So this is an easy way that we can do this. Have three points of contact so we're really safe. So we can plant one foot on the fence and then, then we go basically into that, that safety motion. So we lift, we plant that foot on top like we were talking about before, having good balance here so that we can support ourselves and then you thread through and then if you want, say if it's a high fence like this, we can sit down, turn vault and come down like so. Or we can just drop. So we can go here, drop and land. Just an easy way to get over higher obstacles and it's very safe. So if you're really tired or you're out of breath, this is one of the vaults that you're going to want to use when you don't have much gas in the tank. Also, it's a safe way to check out your environment before you fully commit to a vault. So for instance, if this is a wall and I couldn't see what's on the other side, I can do the same technique, get a look to see what I can do, and then I have a lot of options from this position. I can come back down, I can turn, I can come back up, I can drop. There's a lot of different movements that I can do from that position. And remember, this all stems back to these motions here. And just like if you check out the workout before, remember that movement where we were in the QM and then we were kicking out? That's exactly, pretty much exactly what we're doing for that. So that's why we show those basic movements because it transfers directly into this. So those were some different variations that you can do with the safety vault and why it's such a, a good vault to learn first. And you can see that uh, why uh, we've been able to show people these basic movements where you start on the ground and then you gradually progress. Why we've been able to get guys in their 30s, 40s, 50s, even 60s uh, to learn these basic movements in parkour and some of them have been able to take it to a more, uh, more advanced level which is amazing and you're going to be pretty amazed at how well your body's going to pick this up once you learn the basics that we just showed. Now I have something for you but first 
I, I got to show you this because this is pretty funny. Uh, so Thomas was out the other day. You got to turn around. Yeah, get the full scope of this. See, this is why it sucks to be a, a pasty white ginger. But okay, you see, this is this is how his legs should look, and then. Oh, yeah, that's real. Yeah, yeah. The that's real. That's what happens when you stay out in the sun for 10 minutes. <laughs> when, kayak, yeah. yeah but pretty funny. But yeah, okay, we'll switch back. Uh, but anyway, okay, so if you want to get more into parkour, you like what, you, what you've seen so far, uh, then I want you to pick up our five-day free course, which I'll put in the description. You're going to learn this vault, and you're also going to learn... Uh, some other moves. You're going to learn how to do a wall run. You're going to learn how to climb up walls. You're going to learn how to land properly so you don't injure yourself and, and in a smart way and then learn how to do the roll so if you're ever in a situation where you need to take a big drop you can do this without yeah. being scared or having the, the risk of uh, mm -hmm. severely injuring yourself. Or even tripping too. Exactly. If you trip or something learning these basic movements is going to protect you in those situations. You roll, quick roll? Yeah, yeah. So if you're walking and oh, and you can you can come out of it all smooth instead of falling on your face, which is really good for, for a lot of us, especially when you're clumsy like me and Thomas. <laughs> but, uh, so, and also, there's a, a few other moves in there as well, so I, I want you to pick that up if you're interested in learning parkour, taking it a little bit further. Anyway, that's it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Be sure, if you want to learn some other moves, put that in the comment section, and we'll post a video for it. So that's it for this video, and we'll see you in the next one.